Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kojo Sheldon. The head is big for a reason. This is Convo with the head. And yes, this conversation is long overdue because yeah, the answer for fast seminars. Uh, but right now, yes, the person is in the studio with me and we are going to have a beautiful conversation devoid of sentiment, emotions, and whatnot. But introduction-wise, you know, this guy is responsible for a lot of successful dancers that are, you know, success or successes in the dance industry in this country. Uh, he has masterminded with, I mean, collaboration with other people has masterminded, you know, the success of a lot of dancers in this country. They have revolutionized dance culture in this country. Right now, it is cool for people to walk to their parents and tell them, I want to become a dancer. Now, these are the people in the background. I've, ne I've personally never seen him dance before and I don't want to see him because he can't. But he has engineered the success of a lot of people and these people normally, they don't get, you know, the accolades, they don't get the, you know, the shout outs or whatnot because they are always in the engine room cooking. But today, uh, we need to sit and have a conversation with this particular guy and just understand his Jenny, why he's in this space and why it be um, if people they dance. Ladies and gentlemen, I have in the studio here with me Quabos. Yes, Quabos, the co founder, co manager, co parent to a lot of kids of what DWP Dance Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, born Selma Quabos. It's been a long time coming. Yeah. Then now, what is your problem? Quabos, you are not known for that. But then we get to that. But, um, Dance culture in this country. First of all, how did you get yourself involved in this? Like, you know, this dance thing? Because, I mean, I don't know the story, but walk me through it. How did you end up being the guy that is actually telling people to do this when it comes to the dance culture in this country? Okay, so, um, I actually went to school with Dance God. Dance God. We went to Presec together and... You be Presec boy? Yeah, you know, no. Oh, that day, that boy in my shop. Okay. <laughs> about. So we go to school together and you know, in high school, if you dance, it's a big thing. Mm. You know, everybody knows you and um, Dance God was a superstar. Mm. So, for the high school? Yeah, for like... high school. So after high school, he showed the dance where he go play football and I went to university. Mm. You know, so we met some years later and he wasn't in school mm. and, you know, he told me about how... Um, Things have been very hard, mm. and um, the football said, you know, they go on, okay, you know. So then you want chasing football, car, yeah, okay, football, okay. and it wasn't going well. And you know, he told me, he told me so many things I cannot even share, okay, but these things moved me. And at the time, I was like really popular at the time, you know, in KNRC, I was like an ambassador for MTN, I was working with K Cat, mm. you know, so I was doing a lot of like. Influence. Today, the influencer. Yeah. Before, uh, he Before ran all of this, I had, like, I okay. was working with a lot of brands. Why Why were they working with you? What was the value proposition you were offering? I think I was doing modeling at the time. I was doing a little bit of acting. Oh, okay. You know, and, and I had... One of the Jim Crow, four girls. You know? Oh, there be. Okay. <laughs> and I had, I had like, a lot of audience. Like, back then, years back, I had a lot of followers. You okay. Know? So, that's why the brands were using me at the time. Okay. So, all he wanted was, you know, for me to just post him. But I'm like... If I just post you, it's not going to change anything. Okay. You know, like, I don't think that's what's going to change the thing. So, we met a lot of times at all hours, like 11 p.m., 12 midnight, you know, talking. For the, uh, on phone? No, in person. I like, guess you could come to my house around, okay. around that time and then. When you vacate and you come to Accra yeah. or in Kumasi? No, when I come home. Okay. You know, so there was one time he shared something very deep with me. Mm. And I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm going to fight for you. Mm. Like, I don't even know how to do this thing. I don't know how to manage anybody. I've never done it before. Mm. But I'm going to fight for you. And I'm and we are gonna like we are going to make it. If you mm. believe, say I go fit do am, mm. make we do am. What be that deep thing it takes in you? <laughs> Wabi, yes. You see, so like it be it be crazy. And you see, he knows. Mm. We don't know. No, he, in his heart, he knew. Say he was in a very dark space. And nobody ever wanted to be there. Mm. If I'm leaving, like, I saying certain things or don't want to be there for you. Okay. And I say, okay, I'm going to put everything aside. Mm. When I start talking to brands now, I don't talk about myself. I say, no, I have this person mm. that I want you to work with. It was never about me anymore. Mm. Anybody that I met that wanted to work with me, I said, no, work with this person. Mm. You know, so, this is how it started. I didn't know how to do this thing. Mm. You know, so, I'm not even going to stand here and say that I was a professional. Like, I learned on the job. So you had to sacrifice your modeling, your influencer career. Listen, yeah. Like, you cannot, you cannot be a, a talent or trying to push yourself as an influencer and also push another. Okay. 
you know so, so you had to sacrifice yeah, had your to own that. for this so at what point did you bring dance dance god lloyd into the conversation like i am posting you i am investing i am talking to brands on your on on your on your, on your from, behalf from that very day that we had a conversation and okay. then um what even happened you know so there was no even money like nobody's even going to pay you 50 cities or even 10 cities to do anything so we said okay so he didn't even know how to teach at the time okay so i said uh, teach the dancing to, yeah to teach okay. but so, when he came to you he knew how to dance yes he was, he was very good he's a good performer okay you know but there's a difference between a performer and a teacher okay so <laughs> now i said okay at least i have these people so i, I do eight to five I'm, i have like an advertising background okay so the people that i work with at least let everybody pay this amount of money and then you come and teach them at least you make money and then you get to learn how to teach mm. Teach them how to dance. Yes, to teach, teach. You learn how to teach how to dance. You learn how to teach yeah, how yeah. to dance. Because okay. you can be a performer and you don't know how to teach. Okay. So that's how it started. Mm. You know, so it was, it's been step by step mm. to learn how to, to, to teach, to learn how to talk, mm. even when you go for interviews. So we we'll take the questions, we we'll mm. go through. And it's not like I knew how to do this thing. No. Mm. This be, see, we they won't fight together i won't make you win because me as a day school mm. that they see you as a superstar so if they pain me see now things they go this way mm. you understand and and, I, and 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 let me say this there's a point in time in my life that i felt like i wasn't so happy when i saw myself on the billboard i wasn't so happy when maybe i had any sign or okay. something was happening good in my life i was more happy when i saw a friend do well okay so it wasn't mm. about you anymore. No, so it wasn't about me anymore. Like, mm. trust me, when I saw Dance Go Do Well, mm. I was more fulfilled. Mm. You know, I was, I was more fulfilled. And, bro, so many, so many, so many people like spoke to me against doing that. Like, saying, ah, but you, you be educated. You, did, you go to school. You did the work. You did that. They follow these street people. Mm. Like, so many people look down on them, but I say, no. I'm not going to look down on you people. We go change mm, the, narrative. the narrative and how mm. people they see mm. dances in this country. Yeah. You know, so that's how it started. Yeah. So then at what point did Afrobeast come in? So, because I don't want us to center sorry, this conversation on around, dance go yeah. because you have built one of the most successful dance academies in the country. Yeah. Let's talk about it. At what point did Dance God Lloyd come in? At what point did you people start recruiting? Because... Okay. A lot of people have passed through your system. Okay, so Dance God is for my shaman. And mm. Afrobeat is also for my shaman. So okay. I think it was one time my birthday, and then he came with Afrobeat. And mm. they're like, this is his brother from my shaman. Okay. And he wants me to help him as well. So I said, okay. They were actually three. Okay. So there was there's a guy who's called Benny Q. Mm. So the three of them, I started managing the three of them. Mm. You know, and we got some studio. A friend had a studio at one airport square mm. then we started teaching after teaching the people in my office they started teaching at one airport square mm. people start like in the beginning it's just family that would even come for the dance class okay. you know their sisters and stuff you know so that's how Afrobeast came into the picture the third person gave up because there was no money coming in okay so he quit he said he's not going to do this anymore then mm. they were left to just dance good and Afrobeast so is Afrobeast a co-founder or he's a student of like you know the academy Afrobeast is a co-founder a co-founder yes okay. he was there from the beginning okay so dance god lloyd introduced mm -hmm. Afrobeast to me and he became a, a co-founder no so he introduced Afrobeast to me i managed the two of them personally so we're not dwp had not started at the time okay so i was just managing the two of them as talent as talent dance talent yes. okay so yeah. at what point did he transition into becoming like a co-founder so we were like they are not going to be able to do this forever okay we've seen talents come and go and you know, the, the fame is not forever. Mm. So we need to build something so that if we stop dancing or they stop dancing, this is going to live on. So there's a next generation. Mm. And that's how, because the three of us were together, we, we the three of us decided to like mm. co-found this thing. So DWP, I mean, was co-founded by you, Afrobeast and Dance, Dance God. Yes. So you people are the co-founders. Yes. Okay, beautiful. So the recruitment processes and at what point did you people start, you know, getting people to notice that, okay, you, you people have built something like this and eventually it could be profitable or not, but still, you know, you have built something. And so we started, you know, we did some dance classes when people started coming in mm -hmm. and then, you know, we decided to start an academy and then we're like, we, we are starting an academy. So if you mm -hmm. want to join, Come and join. At that time, it wasn't. We didn't even do auditions mm. because we even needed people. So anybody that wanted to be a part should come and join. Okay, you know. And then you know, it, it started from two people. Mm. Then more people started joining. Mm. 
Mm. There was no structure in the beginning. Okay. You know, so as time went on, we started putting a structure to, mm. you know, everything. So when structures, you know, when people started putting uh, in the structures or other structures, what was your role at DWP or in DWP? So I manage everybody. Okay. And that's God and Afrobeats where the instructors, they okay. teach. What entails, you know, the management of, you know, <laughs> the distance? So in, in terms of everything, like patient to clients, mm. um, helping because because i have an advertising background yeah helping them with their social media how to brand yourself how to um the kind of content you should put out there mm. you know the kind of videos you should shoot mm. because that's that's my expertise okay you know so that's what i was guiding them with how mm. to brand yourself um trying to get clients mm. pitching to clients about the academy and the individuals yeah so yeah. in the course of establishing this thing because you, you guys transition to i mean building dwp yeah. you people were co-founders were there contractual obligations as to okay you you own this uh, percentage here you own this percentage yeah. here this is the amount of money you are going to get was there a conversation like that so yes there's we, we there's it's a it's a registered company okay but I'm talking about the distribution of you know let's yes say, there is that there's everything yes, like for that. for the three of us there is so that. everyone knew his role yes everybody you knew were supposed role. to go talk to the brands yeah you were supposed to be the guy basically doing the marketing yeah. and they were supposed to be the instructors yeah and everyone believed in their role yeah. and they were doing it yeah so how are we here I don't know also at what point did Dance God Lloyd you know move to you and was like I want to leave hey you see the reason why I said I'm tired is because. Mm -hmm. There's so many things. Mm. And I've tried so hard to try to protect people and to try to protect myself. Okay. You know, but I really need him. Like, I wish there was a podcast where he had me, Dance Good and Afrobeast, and then everybody sees mm. whatever is on their mind. Mm. Because Dance Good was like the poster boy. People didn't even know that Afrobeast was a co-founder. Okay. Or I was a co-founder. We positioned him in such a way that Yes, he is in the forefront of this thing. So it was a calculated it effort by It was intentional. By yes, it was intentional because the face. everybody cannot be the, the star of the team. Okay. Now, it's going to transcend. It's like a tree. Mm. Once he's doing well, it's going to transcend, affect Afrobeast. Yeah. It's going to affect everybody in the team. So mm. it was intentional. Mm. You understand? Now you're the poster boy. Um, once people start doing well, you have a problem. Mm. Um, once people started, I mean, started doing well. He had a problem with so many things. With regards to the people that people are bringing yes, in, or the management, there was even a point. Don't go with us as to sack certain people because he feels like, "Oh, this person has disrespected me and all of that." I'm like, "No, I sack this person because they disrespected you." Hold on, Meba. He wanted you people to sack someone. He didn't want certain people to be in there because of what? Because he said they've disrespected him. What kind of disrespect? <laughs> Sorry. Yes, we are having a conversation. Yeah, yeah. I need so, to, so, so it's so many. So, so it's so many things. Okay, that's one of it. Do you understand? Yeah. That's one. But and, you people have code of conduct, right? Code of ethics. Yes. For for your workers, yes. for people you have recruited. Yes. So if someone has had me, because mind you, he's an instructor, but he's a co-founder. Yeah. So you, you have to accord him that respect. Yeah. So if he comes to you that maybe someone has disrespected me, what is like, you know, the structure for dealing with something we like that? We punish people. There's, okay. there's, there's things, like if you do wrong, anybody over there knows that if you do wrong, there's things that you have to deal with. You can be suspended. You can be okay. sacked. There's people that have been sacked from the academy. When he came to you with the disrespect issue, you know, did you people investigate it? I did, but I didn't see it as disrespectful. Okay. And you communicated it to him? Yes. I okay. did. And I made him know that, okay, that shouldn't be the option mm. of letting the people go. Another uh, punishment go for Yeah, you are a co-founder. Mm. You, you have the right to be able to say that, okay, this person, this, this person, that. Mm. Do you understand? And that's just, I'm just saying, I'm saying that's just one, one side. One side. Walk us through the rest. Do you understand? That's just one side. And I, maybe I probably want to jump, you know, things. Yeah, well, yeah, there are some things, I'm, I'm sure there are some things we, you know, they need, but what contributed to him leaving DWP? Because at some, he left when you people were at your peak. Sheldon, even, I know, I go bust your mind. One of it said, be say, pastor, they tell you, say, this and this and that. Like, it'd be so many things. And I'm like, ah. Hold on. A man of God was involved. <laughs> Bro, woman in soon, young kasa. I did tell you, like, yes, I'm we telling are you, not trying I'm to dent you, anyone's Yeah, but I'm telling you that like, yeah. it's so many things. Mm. And, you know, up to now, and, all, and those things, I feel like could have been resolved. Mm. But, he didn't want to resolve them. Was it ego? I think it was ego. 
Because you see, now he had become a superstar and now he didn't want to listen to anybody. I see. Do you understand? He, he wasn't become, listening to you. No, he, he, he recently he saw a friend of mine. And this is why I'm angry. Mm. He saw a friend of mine and says, he get a vision. And that'd be why he, he, he creates another, another group. And that the vision he go take go engrave inside. That's what he said. Like he like he keeps telling people things about me. Okay. And he keeps coming at me. And I'm like, bro, it's been it's been years. It's been two years. Mm. If you go way back, seven years, eight years, I did so many. I made so many, so many sacrifices. Mm. If you've even moved on, move on in peace mm. and leave me alone. But when he was leaving DWP, how was the relationship like? You know, with Afronis, Afronites, you people issued a statement, right? Saying he said, okay, you wish her well. Whatever she go do, new people go support her. And uh, with Dance God own, how did did you prepare because part we, ways? To be honest, I kept on saying that if Dance God wants to come back, like we want him to come back. Okay. We thought it was one of those things where this person is he you, go through something, yeah, he go come back. You know, he's gonna he, he go come back or yeah. he go do he go change his mind. Mm. That's why we never issued. A, a, a press statement. So there was still a window open yeah, for him was, to come back. There was okay. There was and. When I saw that everything cast me, when I see say he, he create new group. Okay. You know, when I see say he did write certain things on social media, I was like, oh no. I think it's beyond. It it, it, there's no way. Mm. There's, it's, it's beyond repair. Did it affect like, you know, DWP when he So left? you see, to him, when he was leaving, he feels, he thought that when he leaves, everything will go down the drain. Because he tried to get Afrobeat to live with him. Wait, hold up. <laughs> there were a lot, there are a lot he, of no, he thought he thought when he leaves, he thought when he leaves, everything is gonna go down. He wanted dream. to live with Afro Beast. Yes. But Afro Beast didn't leave. Afro Beast, you know, we build this thing together. Okay. There's no way me to I go left this thing. He said that you go come back. Oh, but I know they leave. Do mm. you understand? Now he thought that when he leaves, everything was gonna go because he was literally in the center of everything. Yeah. At the time when he was leaving, these other dancers didn't have any position or any strong, you know, branding or yeah. anything. He was that guy. He was that guy. You understand? And I go tell him from here, mm. see, the grace way did on my head mm. and all, all of those kids, he don't have any control over him. Mm. The moment he left, everybody, everybody's brand skyrocketed. I don't know if you, you people noticed. Okay. Everybody. So we started seeing from individual. Yeah. Everybody blew. Okay. The moment he left, so he shouldn't think that Oh, then he be the center of everything. So when he left, things were going to go down the drain. Mm. And then once blew up, Afronita blew up. Mm. Everybody, people started seeing everybody. Mm. So it's not about you. So are you saying say he was an impediment to people? He wasn't. Mm. But he shouldn't think that, you know, it's about him. Are you hurt with regards to how the whole thing had pan out? Sure. For me, people move on at a point in time in their life. Yes. I believe we should have moved on on a good note. Mm. Let's have a conversation. And then, you know, at least you want to, maybe you want to start something on your own. You want it to be about you or you want to be the center of everything. Mm. Then you move on in peace. Mm. But to make it look like there's an issue and big, so many big people spoke to us to try and resolve this thing. He was not ready. Do you understand? And what hurts me is the fact that he still did talk and he throws chase at me. Mm. I know him more than everybody that probably is a fan of him online. Mm. So when he says something, I know who he's talking to. What if you are not the one he's talking to? I know the person. Wait, there was a tweet that he made the uh, uh, ungrateful bastards or something. Do you think it was targeted? It was. I too... cannot be ungrateful. I quit my job because of you. Mm. Aside the sacrifices that I made, mm. I quit my job. I was, I, I was being paid very well. Okay. You understand? And then I'm like, but obviously, people say this. They ran away from where go do mm. meetings for you and everything. Mm. And I said to myself, now at that time, still no money was coming in. Mm. And I said to you, like, boy, I'm going to quit my job. To mm. this for you. So we'll be ungrateful. Okay. I am I ungrateful. The time where you blew up, where it's like you labor so much for so many years. And the time where it's time to even reap, that's when you leave. You think, who is the ungrateful one? Mm. I cannot be the ungrateful one. How am I ungrateful? It's not like a dance that I can say that you taught me how to dance. You fall in dancing. <laughs> it's not like a, a, you taught me how to dance and I don't dance. And I'm saying, what did you teach me? Mm. I posted a video today. 
Yes, uh, you posted it. And, he, and, and, and he's not lying. You people think I don't like this person. Ask him to really tell you about me. If nothing has gone wrong or keeps going on, I will never come at him like that. He knows what he's doing. One day, I hope he tells the truth. Shadi, he's not lying. What he said in that interview? Me. Then um, I met Quabos, my manager now. Mm -hmm. And then I told him, that, you know, the... Okay, you No, no, superstar. You know, so the catch up was like, was told me everything, like what I have to do, take my social media serious because I wasn't, I mean, phone cry. I shot two or one, I yeah, one or two. But I started learning under, under him, you know. Or they maybe call companies, will dance for free, teach them for free, how to teach, how to even perform, how to even go about the way I talk, the way I dress, everything. Like, he's actually my angel on earth. Okay. Oh, yeah. He because said, he yeah. knows, he knows that I, I, like, if you try to... He said about, you coached him. You basically, you know, created the whole... I so if God. you ever said anything bad about dance, God, I'll come for you. Mm. Anybody that would try and come for he knew... That I will fight for him with my last blood. Mm. So why, why can you can you call me ungrateful, or can you now come and start throwing shit? If mm. you've even left, live in peace. Mm. What are you doing now? Why are you trying to throw? Like okay, man, now you've left me an Afro beast, mm. thinking that things will go down the drain. We've we've you've struggled, but we've, it's not it's not been easy. Mm. It's really not been easy. So you go admit say him leave you know then he really oh of course he affected you people. He living left a dent. Okay. I he love living, the fact that you're being living. honest. Is the reason why Funita has left today? Mm. Because he made it. He made it. Yeah, he made it look like yeah. You everybody go feel leave. But you that's have... that's 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 literally her role model. Okay. So if her role model left, then you should know that she was going to follow. It was. I knew it was going. It to was happen. bound to happen. It was bound to happen. Mm. So many things led to her leaving. The press statement is to save everybody. Okay. Oh, okay. Adiba. Uh huh. So the press statement with, with regards to Afronites uh, leaving DWP, you know, that press statement was just PR issue, but there was an, like deeper issues in there. Try. Right. Let me give you a small summary. Don't give me small. I want to eat. Okay. So Afronita, her story is that okay, she met Dance God somewhere, mm. and where he tell him about the academy. DWP. Yeah. Okay. When she came in, I thought, I said to myself that the industry is more male dominated. Mm. True. I have to find females that I can groom so that they can also stand strong. Mm. So she was literally 500 followers or lesser. And, you know, she even showed a lot of interest. Quabos, look at my page. What do you think I should delete? Tell me this and this and this and this. So I saw that she was, talking. yeah, so I saw that she was, you know, it'd be like in my day. Mm. So I told her, okay, I'm going to manage her. So I told her to manage her from day one. You know, she went to high school. Before yeah, yeah. she was done with high school, she, she was a superstar. Yeah. Now, you are, you spend most of your time in high school. How was her page consistent throughout her time in high school? How did she blow up before she finished high school? Content and everything. We plan everything. Content to be posted throughout the whole time in school. I was speaking as a phonita, posting as a phonita. In the DM, said me now they reply. Mm. I go feel reply. Go girl. I call her texting. <laughs> now I don't know how reply. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, but, paradise text. Bro, I feel reply in the DMs and everything. So it was literally me talking as a phonita. Okay. For close to four years. Four years. When she was in high school, we were you were managing school. most of her. the time. Before you go, we do shoots, we do videos, everything. Now she was a minor. Yeah, yeah, no sacral minor. Yeah. So when in con for contracts and everything, yeah, you know, it's her parents we are going to talk to. They never signed the thing. You every, presented a contract. Every, every time I go remind, they never signed. They didn't want to sign. Now was it intentional? Did they have a problem? Now I know it's intentional. Now you know. Yeah, now I know. But those those days they yes, don't know. I don't understand. Okay. So they didn't want to sign. Then. As she can't finish school, she already blew. Yeah. You, you remember that, you know, how everybody was saying that, you know, she's done well academically and... Yeah, 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 the results. She had, she had blown on all platforms. Mm. Media platforms. Before, platform before, yeah. before she was done with school. 
And I feel say, oh, now maybe you can't talk. She's 18 now. She's of age. So mm. this will be the time. Contract and things go pie. Okay. So me say, as they don't want to do, I say, okay, I'm not going to do again. Mm. But I literally took the girl like my sister. So as those things that happen, I say, if, what if I leave her and things go left? Mm. So even though I said I wasn't going to do it again, I still continued. So at some point, you wanted to leave her? Yes. I've, I said to them that I'm not going to do this anymore. Because she wasn't signing the contract? Yes, because you were not ready to do that. How is it that I, I, I'm, I'm literally doing all of this for you for mm. four to five years and then now you're not willing to sign and there's no reason why you don't want to sign? Where the, I mean, the conditions in the contract, you know, um, tell me. Conducive. Because you see, I'm telling you that, okay, speak to a lawyer, get somebody to review. Whatever you want to change, we can look at it. But that feedback is not even coming. Aye, okay. So yeah, there was an option for review. There was an option, of course. You cannot sign a contract without like getting, you know, By nothing legal happened. counsel. Did, did at that point did you know say he I mean she was going to break away and set up or within that time frame Shirley. had had she te- uh, tell you say, Oh, I'm going to create Shirley. my academy or something? See, so many things have happened and I've been quiet about it. Yeah. Like when somebody blows up, whatever people start reaching out to them, right? Yeah. And telling them this and telling them that. Mm. Her mom, your mommy tell me, say, um, people tell her that this is what a manager is supposed to do and doing that. And that I've bought clothes for her daughter only once. I'm like, I'm not supposed to be buying clothes for your daughter. He said the management that they do, you know, he and I, they buy clothes for him, they do this and this and that. But that's not what, that's not, that's not my work. Was Afronita being paid? Of course. Okay. So let's say a gig, gig come. Them, them pay DW 40,000. What, what would be in share? Sheldon, listen. Oh, I if, 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 I want, I want to tell you something. Mm. If you even say this to me, that, oh, a manager for do this. If I was a bad manager and your daughter has even come this far, then it'd be very good. But Quabos, it's not about because, being a bad... No, 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 because, because, because it's not like she was a superstar and I saw, I intentionally wanted a female to do so well. Mm. Now, let me tell you, aside this thing, I was told that if I manage endurance, then her daughter will not do it again. You were told? Yeah, the who, mother told, told me. The, the mother told me. If I manage, you if I manage, if you manage endurance, yeah. you know, go make, you know, go, you know, go make your daughter do again. Bro, so there's so many things. How do you tell me this? How do you tell me Where that? Where did this one come inside? Everything day in the years. Wait, so... How do you tell me this? When, when and then you, you expect that... But you, you, you are not in any position to tell me... First of all, you don't even sign the contract. Mm. Now you, did, you are telling me that if I will manage somebody, then the daughter is not going to do it again. Listen, if, if, I, if, I, want to, if I want to spill beans over here... Like, it's, not, it's, not, it's not going to... So be. when the mom walked to you, a contract has not been signed. No. And she told you, you said... You can't manage another, uh, Female. you know, brilliant dancer like Endurance. Yeah. So attention for just the daughter in talk. I don't know. But she wasn't signing the contract. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was. It is so, I mean, that was when the whole thing started. But then she was still under you. Yes. So at what point did she come to you and was like, Charlie, maybe you may call. <laughs> Sheldon. In all of the years, mm. there's interviews online, and I will say if you post your thing, eh, I will give you all of the evidence, and you go play the interviews. Oh, you go. They for went seven. on Nanama's show, mm. and she was asked. They, they asked the mother. So your daughter, has, when she started, which people have played a role in her life and everything? She acted like she had, she never heard the name Quabos. Hey. she never mentioned the name. But then they say, "Mommy, they fight." I don't know. So so. She never meant, she, she said everything. And when later, Nanama asked Afonita that if people want to reach out to you, she did reach out to your manager, Quabos, or what? And then she paused. Did she send me a DM? E. Afonita, Sukuno, when is so, and I'm sana so, when you're there, it's so. Me patcho pi, say, say, I'll be cast for Afonita, on from Mami and on from Quabos. Mana yeah, show I am fine because me will contract be brief. So cool for be show. Yeah, friend why? Pasha wait to me. Oh nipa no wait me dear meme. Or Instagram. Oh Instagram. Wait me as I know DM not for any management or whoever. Aqua can. And this is why I feel like 
people don't like to do things for people. People don't like to go all out for people because I don't even know what I have done wrong to you. Yes, one tatadi man. Yeah, I don't even know what I've done wrong to you for you to like, like, do all of these things. You went on, and this is not the only interview. There were so many interviews. You have been watching. Yes, what? I've been watching. Mm. And when I see it, I send it to them. I screen record and send it to the mother and the dad, and tell them that this is what I've seen. She says she 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 forgot, or that was not the question. Wow. How do you tell me not to manage another person? Yeah, that part really, really <laughs> I know the barb. I mean, because barb. if a contract has not been signed, you don't tell me that. There is exclusivity contract where a, B, I, I am signing a contract so that I take care of my kid for me. But you have not signed a contract and you're not giving me option to manage another person. How then do I cook? Okay, I see. But have you spoken to the mom on like professional level, like, bro, what is happening? After the interview, I should sure say I could forget so many things. Sorry. But this is how she left. So, you see, there's there's been a lot of disrespect over the years. Mm. And I try to solve them. If it goes beyond me, I try to reach out to the guardians, you know. And when I try, so, so the last conversation we had, she called me and said, um, Okay, so, so I saw the studio and everything online. Mm. I feel like if you respect where you are coming from and you plan to do this thing, for me, you, know. you should have told the people that you were with. You don't tell anybody anything. You had and zero idea no about idea, it. No idea, no communication, no form of communication or anything. Mm. And then I see online that this yes, is, and, you're going, yeah, and you're going to do classes. I'm like, what kind of life is that? You don't, you don't respect anybody. So I, I reached out and said, I've seen this. I'm very happy for your daughter and everything but we need to have a conversation mm. like this is 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 literally going to be conflicting with what we also yeah, conflict do conflict of interest yeah it's a conflict of interest or we can have we can talk about how we could do it together okay because we if you check our page we've been doing DWP academy kida there's a, there's a youth part of DWP which is called DWP academy kida mm. which has been there since 2016 okay so or the way back it's the way. same thing. Okay. When you came, you were a minor, you were 14 years. Mm. So let's talk about how we can actually go about it. Mm. So you gave me feedback. If, you're, if your mind they say you go make we find a way we could fit them together, mm. then we could talk. So for two months for, or more, I wasn't getting feedback. Anytime I ask, my mom is going to get back to you. My mom is going to get back to you. And then At this I'm, point, the mom is the manager. I don't know. Okay. Then I hear that. Then, then, I tell you, listen, you this has been long overdue. Mm. I feel like you're taking me for granted. Mm. If I don't get feedback by this period, I'll take it as though you're not you don't want to be a part of us. Mm. Because you can't take you, you can't be here and be acting this way. So then I got a call. The mother said, I said, no. And I said, why are you saying this? The things that she has done, the problems that we have had, I tell you. Even Sorry. recently, I told you that she came to the studio. We had a shoot. A shoot, I told her that we had, that was a paid gig. She passed by me the whole day. Like, I didn't exist. Me, where I manage you for more than five years. Me, where I be the manager of the academy. You defeat, disrespect me like this. Mm. The mother asked me, who can meet who for their place? I'm like, this Ghanaian society or this our society, it be grown up, grown up. Is it an elderly person that goes to greet a child or a child that goes to greet an elderly person. Mm. I'm, I'm 10 years or more older than her. Mm. So how do you give me this feedback? I feel like the problems are not being solved. Because if I can tell you this and you tell me that who came to meet who, then you don't respect me too. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> God. I'm serious. I was who, oh, sorry. I'm sorry about that. That's in the funny. They said who came to meet yeah, who? Yeah, who came to meet who? So like you... <laughs> me, okay. we forgot good bits. <laughs> Afronita. Yeah. Vim, vim. <laughs> Do you understand? It's crazy. And then I'm, I told her, so I'm like, mm -hmm. I feel like the problems that I've had with her daughter over the years, they never get resolved because she always picks her daughter's side mm. and the problem don't get solved or not get corrected. And that was it. She was offended. She said I disrespected her because I said she cannot correct her daughter. 
But that's not what I meant. Mm. Like I was being honest with you. You like you, if you give me this feedback, then that means you don't want to solve the problem. Okay. So she was offended. She spoke at length, and I was like, "Mommy, I will never disrespect you." She was kept on talking. She cut the call. The next minute, I receive a letter that she's leaving the academy. The next minute, or the, the next day. The, the next minute, hey. the letter looked like it had already been drafted because it looked like it was written by a lawyer. Ah, uh, So the uh, conversation that means that, triggered that, means that the lawyer, the, the letter was already prepared. Okay, they were looking so, for an opportunity to fire. You understand? The letter was already because it looked like it was written by a lawyer. Mm. So after that, right after that, you sent me the letter, and then I said, I really wish that we could still continue with your daughter. But if this is the decision that you have taken, then I respect it. Mm. This is how she left. And I don't hold, to be honest, when any, I have, I'm with somebody and the person moves on, I see it as my work in the person's life is done. Mm. This be where God bring us. But when you make it look like I have done you wrong, I want you to point it out to me because on the call, she's like, and when people call you, stop giving Afronita's job to endurance. And I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? It's like, it's, it, 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 and, and it, it shows me where it's stemming from because I'm now managing the other. This person has 8 million or close to 9 million on TikTok. Oh, that's endurance. Yes, and she has more audience than, you know, the other on, on Instagram. Mm. So why would you think that people will not try to book her or people will not call me to try to book her? And you are telling me when people call me, I shouldn't tell, give this, your daughter's do jobs to the other. Why? Does endurance know this thing? Endurance begged me never to talk about this, but like I feel like, listen, there's so much that has gone on that I've been quiet about. And I feel like people keep throwing shade in my face mm. and like trying to tarnish, you know, like whatever we've built. Mm. And it's not it's I could be quiet. I've been quiet for a long time. I could be very quiet and not say anything. But impression is everything. The impression that they are putting out there is not right. Mm. So I know Endurance is not going to be happy about this because she's aware. And when she came for the interview with you, you see how she's trying to like, you know, protect everybody mm. and protect herself and the other. But they've not been fair. Oh. They've not been fair. And this, this, this thing really like baffles me. So I don't hold anything against the other. Yeah. You've moved on. Fine. We issued a nice press statement. Wishing mm. you well because like, at the end of the day, we are part of your story. Mm. You cannot take that away. Mm. Do you understand? So we cannot let everything unfold without us wishing you well. Okay. So that's why we put out the press. Did she invite you to the, the launch of No, the... she didn't invite me. You never received an invitation? No. So let me explain okay. what happened. Because yes, yeah, I you the attention. So <laughs> so um we saw everything, the interviews and everything. And mm. I saw an interview at and, and, and the dust is yeah, yeah, right. where he was asking her did you invite the WP she said no have you sent out the invite she said no bear in mind other people had been sent invites in the in DWP no not in DWP so no other people had been but nobody in DWP had been sent an invite no one in DWP no, the entirety no, of DWP at the no time, one at the time she was in that interview no now either the day or the day before she calls Abba who is no cool. Abba, yes. Oh, okay. Abba is, is, is part of the team in DWP. Oh, okay. She calls Abba and says that um, she wants to invite DWP. And Abba says that you know the right channel. Okay. Either reach out to your former colleagues or Quabos. That's the right channel. Like, yeah. you, you, you cannot invite DWP without letting Quabos know. Or even the... Because if you tell your, your former colleagues, then you have literally invited them. They could go as individuals or they could go as DWP. Like, Jump Chapel really went as an individual. Yeah. She never invited... He went her... there as what? An individual? Yes, he went there. Okay. So she never invited her former colleagues because I asked them, have you guys been invited personally? No. That's your people, DWP? Yes. Okay. None of them got any text or anything. I never got any text or anything. I called Afrobeast. Afrobeast, are you going? She said, she no invite me. These people have, have been there for you. Mm. Five to six years, you don't think that they deserve that level of respect. The same res the way you invited other people, you don't think that you could have just sent your colleagues a message 
Are you what, what? Are you bigger than them? But in, in an interview, she said you people were invited because she because she you know it was done in a way because she was told to come and reach out, but she didn't. So she would say she told Abba. Oh, okay. So there was no official. No. Okay. She just caught someone there. And was like, oh, yeah. okay, okay. So that was not. That's not invite. Yeah. To that's you guys. Invite. Okay. That's why you guys were not there. No. But what do you think about his? I mean, sorry, her this thing, the Afro. To be honest, mm. Sheldon, like. I'm happy for her. Mm. She's doing something she wants to do. Like, if you leave DWP Academy, we are not expecting you to go and just sit down and fold your arms. Do something. Do you understand? Mm. But it, because if she had really invited me, I would have shown up. Mm. Like, you go. To be honest, I had, I had something to do that day. You understand? I had something to do that and, I, and that's what I was dealing with. Other people, endurance herself has not been around because she's working on something. But I think if she had sent that invite to any of them, they would have probably cancelled other things and been there. And show up for her. Mm. But if you didn't do that, maybe the people that... Listen, before she left the WP Academy, her birthday, mm. did you see any member of the WP Academy there? No. Mm. Anytime it's somebody's birthday, we celebrate it together. She didn't invite any of them for her birthday. Hey. And it was she and her fans from TikTok. Mm. So then grudge in their whole. I don't know why, but she don't invite any of them. But you see, if you you be you, this is this is the 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 track record series of events. Yeah, when like, when so, people repeat, okay. when people have a, a track record, mm. it only shows you like the kind of people that they are. Mm. Dance God, he was in so many groups and left. Mm. You know, he used to dance with Mr. Drew, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he left. When he left me, the manager that he went to next, he has left him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, people know that uh, you are the that he left. Yeah, the reason why he left me, you know, be, the, be like the person they tell and say, if you do better. Okay. So the, 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 person, the reason why he left and the person that he left to, mm. he has left that person to. Okay. The person he is with right now, he will leave that person to. Oh, they will be in the end. They will be in the track record. No, no. They will be in the track record. They will be in the track record. One of the things, I'm not going to lie, one of the things that hurts me the most about Dance God mm. is the fact that he told Afronita, and the mom told me this, okay. that she could do it without me, so she doesn't need to sign the contract. If you, you didn't, because you, you didn't sign him, he, he no sign. Uh, that's God to no sign. No, 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 he hey, no sign. Hey, any, any, any boys are flat. Yeah. Boys are for more yeah, yeah, so, you know, you're trying, you're telling another person that they can also do it. They can also they do it. They did it too. So, okay. Yeah. Meanwhile, you, you needed me when you were starting. How are you telling somebody else this? So the contract, madam, no sign, or it means say, then tell and say, make you no sign. When Avonita left, I saw, I saw, dance God and the mother. I think the mother was cooking somewhere and they were together somewhere. I'm like, these people. <laughs> these people. So is it that, is it that everything, <laughs> is it that everything was orchestrated mm. or like what's going on? But I, all... I believe that whatever, is, I'm not perfect. Mm. Sheldon, to be honest, I'm not perfect. Mm. I could have my flaws. But there's a way of dealing with things. Yeah. Is what what they happen right now, it they affect DWP no. as a whole. The academy be strong. How are the kiddies they they you they, know? They, because you I'm know, sure they, they are know, privy you, to this information. You know what's funny? Mm. I feel like the moment dance got left, like they just matured. All of them. Mentiasi. They all just matured in terms of how they handle things on social media. Because they've had a lot of backlash. Mm. How they handle things on social media, how they've dealt with their brands personally. Mm. Because they've all had to fight so hard. Mm. Because the person that they my mind day on, he mm. left. You see, the person that this annoys, the, you know, this thing, oh, eh? you mm. see, that's got posted something. Ajete Sua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My man kind of media me me wanya man wa how ntina mitiano. After a uh, legendary party and Ajete Sua's era. I play the biggest role in giving the dance industry in Ghana a face in modern day entertainment. The evidence is there. The number of number one songs my dance has influenced. Which biggest influence? Oh, you so did, you couldn't have come this far without Afrobeast. I tell you for free. Mm. He couldn't have come this far without us even from DWP, the collective. Mm. He couldn't have come this far. Okay, no, I'm not even going to say that. Mm. Okay, maybe you could have. But everybody played a role. Okay. So you are writing off everybody. In as much as I don't, I'm not a big fan of all those, those other dancers like Ziggy and um, there's a group called Forbent, all of those people. Mm. 
everybody that was fighting for this same thing played a role. Mm. Now you are sidelining everybody saying you are the biggest, you are you play the biggest role. Mm. What are you talking about? Maybe he believes he did it. Please. What's the numbers? No, what's the number one songs? Because, listen, I can Una, mention. Uh, mm. Listen, I can Sheldon, when Dance Girl left, I can mention that more than 10 songs mm. that the group has collectively promoted. Mm. His, his will not even be up to 10. He's done his, he's done his job. Mm. He's doing well. Your issue is the fact that he's sidelining the effort of everybody. Some of you. Okay. Afrobeast has been very quiet for a long time. Why is he always quiet? He, he, <laughs> is he, 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 never that, see that guy gain that, issue. That's before. his brother. Okay. That's his brother. And we, and that's my brother too. Mm. Like I saw him on Saturday. Mm. I said hello to him. But after saying hello to God. yes, okay. after saying hello to him, then I hear what you you you, you are telling somebody about mm. me, mm. like a mutual friend that we both have. Like, I'm like, bro, stop, stop this thing. Now, the, the TikTok verification, bro, you see, Dance God has thrown shit. There's a there's a there's a shade that he threw even to Afrobeast a day ago or two days ago. Yeah, oh, me wani yina wa. You have it. Oh, wani uh, yina wa. So you see, he's been throwing yeah. shades for a long time. Me yana mi ni mkrofu wa no mokasa. Yeah, so he's been throwing shades for a long time. Ito sa ye mo dia. E bi mo wa ye dia. Okay. You understand? He's been throwing shades for a long time. Mm. Now, I got offended because of what he said to the, the, the person. Mm. On top of that, he writing of every other person mm. that has played. You see, he's, you know, the plan is He's drawing a narrative. Oh, the he... narrative that he's drawing. When you, you see, there were people that danced with Ajito Soa, right? Where are they? Nobody mentions them, right? Mm. There's people that would dance with party. Slow nobody nobody mm. mentions them mm. because they didn't draw a narrative for themselves. So he's drawing a narrative so that when they are saying it, one day, years to come, nobody ever remembers that there was an Afrobeast. Mm. Nobody ever remembers that there was a Ziggy. It nobody ever. Yes, yeah, so that, that, the fact that I know him and I know what he's doing. That's what pushed me. Me, me, me. What what if he they see this thing as a competition now? Because you know, when it comes no, to and I, that's what annoying me. Like, why are you seeing that as, as a competition? You built this thing with us. Football, there's competition. You, you build you build this thing with us. Yeah. Why are you trying to throw that back at what you built? He's not part of you guys right now. Also so you throw shade. One truck contract. When signed. So for me, I was also throwing a shade. Like, why is this what you're celebrating now? Yeah, now, now you see, see blue so, tick. So are, are you verified on so, TikTok? So, 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 Sheldon, Sheldon, so you are verified on Meba, TikTok. Tubu, 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 no, we just say we hear. 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 We what if he has changed? Wait. Let me tell you. Okay. Sheldon. <laughs> you see how when Dance Girl was leaving, I think he had about a million followers. All of the other people had. I don't know what they had. Mm. Now Endurance has 8 million, almost 9 million. 8 million on almost TikTok. Nine, 8 million hey. plus. Dempsey and all of these it other people. Small. Dempsey and all of these people have more followers than Dance Girl now. Hey. I don't know if you know. Me? So, in other words, he's trying to write them off and saying that I'm the first dancer to ever get verified. Oh, when you're, when you're 8 million, but I was the first to be verified. I know, I don't know. Uh, these are not my words, please. I'm just... What you say? Just say, Bibia or Bia, you know, because I see him writing on Snapchat. Um, um. And you all follow no. I said, I'm a damn because for some one way, you get issue plus on the average. So, so, if I see Dance Go tomorrow, I'll say hello to him. But, me, but me, me, the things that he does is what I don't me like. Me somehow everlasting. Me set your minutes. Yeah, yeah, me, 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 girl. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. So like the 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 things that he does mm. is what I I I don't like, and I and I, a lot of them I overlook them. But the, this particular one that happened yesterday, mm. to be honest, hey, Twitter, to, to be honest, I didn't want to say anything. Mm. No, you're not tweeting. But it's like it's been like so many things that has led to that, and you see the the. I found that thing about the invitation and people drawing a different narrative. So on Kasak. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I, I wouldn't have said anything, but it's not good PR. But what what if you issued a statement? Because you saw what was happening, right? So you issue a statement saying what happened. That's you think we would have been here? I think that's too much. Oh. No, that's you issue a after listen, the level of disrespect that has come mm. and continuously doing all of these things. I, I don't think that I should come and issue a press statement again. 
it's not worth it. No. You understand? I don't think that I should do that. Wow. So all the best, do whatever you're doing. Mm. But just make sure that you keep us out of whatever you are doing. Don't throw shade or don't try and, you know, because you see, they have groups and they're in the groups with their fan base. They don't control their fans. Okay. We've gone, DWP, we've gone online to talk about cyberbullying and we've told them, don't say this to them. Don't do this. Don't do that. Mm. I've never seen the other do that. Okay. So you can control your fan base. Yes, we do speak to them. You okay. don't have so much control. But at least you go film it. At least. It. Yeah. You understand. So I, do, I, do, I don't think that I should have issued a press statement. Okay. If, so, if, 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 if I didn't come here, mm. maybe I would have. Okay. But so right now, if um, Dance God say you want sit plus, you make people talk this thing over, what be the way forward for this? Yeah, I'll sit down and talk to him. You don't have any issue with that? He should just stop what he's doing. Okay. But what if he, those tweets why, and why, things that why, you post for no, Snapchat it's, it's, not, it's not even about just the tweets. Mm. He's been trying to turn people against me. Or Who against they tell you that? I know. Oh. Sheldon, like I know. I know what I'm talking What's about. What's in with Nikos Wong? I know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Did you see how my building? Look at what people have so done to see, dance culture in this country. So we, we've 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 built this thing together, and don't try to write off other people. Okay, blow your trumpet mm. and do your thing. You are you've created a new group. Focus on them and like we see you guys performing and everything. Mm. Dance got so. Was it Afrobeast at VGMA car park? Mm. Or something. I think Afrobeat stretched his hand to greet him. He didn't greet back. E. Sir. Unless, of course, I'm wrong, but Afrobeat, like, yeah, that, that's what Afrobeat told me. Do you understand? So, like, stop what you are doing. Stop all the, do your thing and just leave us in peace. Mm. Okay? When we see each other, we say hello to each other. We, we can be at, we can be friends, but stop the shit and stop trying to make it look like we're in competition or trying to turn, make people bring attention to your group mm. and making it look like the other is not doing anything. Mm. Like, I, I will say this again. The grace that is upon that, that group, he knows he was from there. The two of them were from there. Mm. This is where they grew up. But this is where they started. And it grace with your mom, bro. Your if they, if if you know good, if you know be good place, they wouldn't have come this far. Mm. If it was a bad place, if when they left, things would have gone left. Things didn't go left. Mm. So leave us. Let us do whatever we are doing and do whatever you are doing. Mm. But how 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 DWP day right now? What be the vibe for everything? There? Be good. We get a lot of plans. Mm. We be we are seven years this year. Seven years. Yes. And one one. Yeah, and we are going to like we are doing a concert. There's a lot of things that we are working on. Yeah. But moving forward, looking at all these things, my, my drafted contract, Taba, you know, go sign. Parents, you, know, you are dealing with kiddies and things. Moving forward, no. How do you plan on dealing with some of so, these things? Sheldon, there's because that I don't think you So there's that too. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's contract agreements with other people. Everybody in Jonas has a contract agreement. Mm -hmm. But these two hey. said they won't sign. <laughs> and they're leaving and the way they left and everything, it explains a lot. Mm. Because if you did have that, you wouldn't leave the way you did. Mm. It explains a lot. Is it hard dealing with uh, these people? Like, is it hard? It'd be difficult? I don't know how I'd do it. It'd be God. Because in Kualan, it'd be Yeah, it'd be God. But anyway, I, I'm glad that you, you you came here to clarify or, you know, give your part of the story. Because me, I've been following that. Sometimes that you go tweet, you go delete, you go do this thing. I feel like we for just... Because looking at what you people have built, the, the, the hope that you have given to these young kids and things... When I see some of this, me, I love, I, they love violence. I go love making people do one for a long time. But nah, no. people are feeling interview. You know, we'll get that for me again. Okay. This this, this be the last the conversation interview. that I've had here. Mm. Because this has been long overdue. Mm. But the conversation I've had here. They've been interviewed here, but no cameras. No cameras. They've been Okay, What if it be CCTV? 
<laughs> no, we are <laughs> over most run. No. no cameras. Anyway. I, will, I will sit and talk to him because you you, see, you really want to talk to him. No, no. You see, Sheldon, it it goes beyond work. Mm. It's been like I've known him for more than ten years. Somebody that I've known for more than ten years. That's my brother. Mm. You understand? So when people think that I don't like, the, what do you mean by I don't like this person? <laughs> Do you know what has gone on between the two of us? Do you know the sacrifices, the, the things that we have had to have to do to get to this point? And then now you think that I hate I don't like what he does. When he does something, I, point him out. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know that what you're doing is wrong. Mm. So don't come and come here and say that I'm bitter and everything. In your bitter leaf. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for passing through. So you then have to tied your own. Have a good. Day. I don't have a problem. She's moved on. Mm. So all the best to her. So that relation, the champion role in for Nubijina. Me say. Because I know there's some build a personal relationship. Oh. So. Mm-hmm. See, there was one time that um, I got a call from the mom saying that. Champion Ruli or no, Afronita? Yeah, the mom. Okay. Saying that. So, in the PP idea, we are all you know. And also, we'll be the percentage. <laughs> PP, you know, she said, Champion Ruli. Mm, yes, like, would I take a percentage? I'm like, I've been managing your daughter for close to five years. And what, what are you talking about? Like, it, it, like all of these things, they, I deal with them, they keep quiet. And I still keep being there for the person. Mm. What do you mean by the PP idea? Would I still take a percentage? Now, I didn't even know about it in the first place. The first time I got to know about that PP thing. PP in the peer pressure. Personal person. Ah, okay. okay. The first time I got to know about it, the mother called me mm. to tell me that, hey, we anyway, nah. Because like people will book them okay, together. Yeah, as, together. As I would I take, would I still take a percentage? Mm. And then I'm like, this time around, contract has not been signed. No. But percentage is being discussed. It says still me managing. You know? Okay. So I'm like, with them, the Becca later. Now, you don't like some of the content that's put out there and everything. Mm. And then you, 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 you now say that I'm the reason it is at my camp that this thing happens or some of this content is being put out. Mm. I'm like, first of all, this thing, I didn't even know. You get to tell me first. But as a manager, if you don't know that this is happening, no, 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 no that's an indictment. No, it's not about this is happening. Mm. I got to know first. Then now, as if mommy agree, me where they can't talk, say, make you know they create content together or make you know they don't. Is the mother the manager or you are the manager? <sighs> Sheldon, somebody in Kidi are the manager. Mm. The mother, they tell me, say, so and so. Make her tell him, say, no. No, you manage. No, but I don't, ha- I, I, I manage the person, but I don't own the person. Yes, and so yes, when it comes to AB, I'll be and the banner fine. But when it comes to brand, AB are dealing with That's brand. why I was that surprised that that question was asked. Because if Afronita and Champion Roli go get brand say make them work together on a product, they come to you. Thank you. Yeah, so how come... No, but, no I'll be right now. That's why if they go interview, they talk, say, send me a DM. So you go come personally. So, do, I mean, at that point, then they go them aside. A lot of people like to reach out to the talents directly. They don't like to go through the right store, like oh, the right oh, way. Ghana, yeah, yeah, Bob. It'd be true. Do you understand? Now, when things start going left, you know, like the, this one, now you they put the blame on me. But there's a, there's even a video online where the boy in bed, they, you you dare that they sell food. Um champions uh, Rolly's birthday. Yes. So, so, mom was so, so then if you are doing this, why are you now putting the blame on me that I'm the one that instigated this thing or or started this thing? You you told me about it first. That means that you are you were in agreement. Mm. To it, but people you know are then relationship. Personal person in your relationship. You see a personal person. Do they date amongst themselves? They are not dating. Like apart from them. No, 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 no. no, no. Nobody is allowed no, to date. No. Is it like company policy? Yeah, you can't do that. Okay. And the people need a personal person yeah. and no a person. Yeah. Okay. And everybody has their personal person. Person. You be my personal. Okay. 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 Cool. Cool. That be cool. Do you understand? And see, oh, oh, yeah. We now I feel that you're turning everything on me, mm. bro. I've had to deal with so much. And, I'm and then right now, mm-hmm. right now, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll be, you say you want to go and you want to be on your own. I've left you. Be on your own. Mm-hmm. But don't try and do things that will make you look like we are the bad ones. Okay. Because that, that 
interview where she said she had sent an invite. It it, it blew everything out of proportion. Mm. Now maybe they may believe you, your crap. Do you understand? It blew everything out of proportion. But that's comes to the city and he's saying a whole lot of rubbish. Mm. When he hasn't even tried to find out any information from the other side. So paradise also in your information indirectly from Afronita. Because he's one-sided. Okay. Or you're one-sided. Mm. So, I don't think that that's good journalism. You need to try and find out everything that you could find out about the issue that's before my you bad, talk about my it. Bad, my bad. I'll go raise them more. Okay. We'll go fix that issue. It's the subsequent ones in the best sort of no problem. But thank you very much for coming here. I'm glad you did this thing. And I know, sir... This video will go out there and a lot of conversations will come back. I feel like... But this is my last. This is not born out of malice or anything. He yeah. will try fix the issue. But I've been following him. I've been following Dance God. I know what is happening on Twitter. Like, people are casting aspersions and making inferences way in a day. So if he's here to tell his side of the story, that is... It is what it is. But at the end of the day, I feel like... Hey, Munyai. This is the last, yeah, to be me, honest. Me, like, me, 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 me. Nobody, you know, go get, you will not get me. I try for like two years. You, you will not won't come here. You will not get me tweeting mm. or you will not get me going on an interview to talk about. It has to be something else, mm. but not about this issue ever again. Okay. Maybe Twitter said, maybe I go delete the app. Or make you no delete. I think mm. you, you they post your. your no, I know, you know, I don't need to come and post for there again. Make the, the, the company doing thing, but me personally. Ah, okay, I'll be DWPD. Okay, no yeah, problem. Yeah, so. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kody Sheldon. This video is brought to you by Tap Tap Send. Send money from US, UK, Canada to any of the recipient countries uh, like Ghana and, you know, your mind will bust. Use the promo code YAWA and enjoy discount. Um, this has been a conversation with Quabos and also on the day. Do you know how to dance? Ah, Sheldon. And Kaobi Kacheo said, I'm not coaching I'm just joking. No, I don't know how to dance. Yapon. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>